Hello and welcome to each one of you to this new session of online lessons. Without further ado, let's begin. Important notice before we continue. If you have not gone through pseudocode part 4 selection if statement, please go through this video first before continuing with this one. So today we are going to look at pseudocode part 4 selection if statement without example. Example 1. Write a program using pseudocode that will input a number and determine an output whether the number is positive, negative, or zero. So we have to decompose our problem to see what we need to do in this uh, particular question. So firstly, we have to input a number. So we'll write the code input number as pseudocode input num. Then we are going to determine whether this number is positive. How to do that? A number is positive if it's greater than zero. So we're going to make use of an if statement to say if a number greater than zero, then we're going to output positive. Number is positive. Otherwise, if the number is not zero, now for the number to be negative, it should be less than zero. So we're going to make use of an else if a statement to say that else if the number is less than zero then we're going to output the number is negative if it's it is neither greater than nor less than zero then the number will be automatically zero so therefore our pseudocode will output zero number is zero and given that we have Nothing more to do in this program will end our if statement and our program. Logical operators. Now, logical operators are used to combine multiple conditions so that only part of the program is executed when all conditions are true or any of the condition is true. We normally have two types of logical operators used in pseudocode, namely the AND logical operator. This operator is used where there is a need for all the conditions for a particular situation to be true for part of the program to be executed. So in this case, when we make use of AND logical operator, both conditions should be true so that we can execute that part of the program. The second type of logical operator is the OR logical operator. This operator is used when there is a need for at least one condition to be true for a particular situation for part of the program to be executed. So for AND operator, both conditions had to be true. But for OR, only one condition has to be true. If the other one is false, it's not a problem. If the other one is true, it's not a problem. At least one of them should be true for for the part of the ex uh, program to execute. Note, logical operators will mostly be used to combine two conditions at a time. So normally, for exams, you will be having two conditions to combine using logical operators. Okay, working out with logical operators now. So next example is example number two. Write a program using to the code that will input a code number and out the category of that code number based on the following. So we have a situation where we have a code number and this code number should give us a category. So code number between 1 and 300 is category A. Code number 301 to 700, this is category B. And code number 701 up to 1000 is category C. So we'll again decompose our problem. First thing first, we have to input a code number. So input a code number, we'll write the pseudocode for that. Input code number. And then we need to output the category of that code number. So we need to check which section which category this code number falls in to do that we are going to check first like if our code number falls in the category a that is between 1 to 
300. To do that, we're going to check our code number if it's greater or equal to 1, and if that code number is less or equal to 300. If it's fall in that category, then it will output category A. So what is happening here is I'm checking that my code number should be greater or equal to 1 and my code number should be less or equal to 300. If both of these conditions is satisfied, given that I'm making use of the N logical operator, it's only at this point that my output will be category A. Any one of these two conditions being false will go to the next part of the program. And the next part of the program is to check whether the code number falls between 301 and 700. If it's false it, in that section, it will output category B. It's the same thing. These the numbers have been changed. And lastly, the last part, 701 and 1000, category C. So else if code number is greater than or equal to 701 and code number is less than or equal to 1000, we will go into output category C. Our program does not say anything for any code number which is less than 1 or greater than 1000, so we'll stop our program here itself. Example number 3. Write a program using pseudocode that will input a mark and output the grid of the mark based on the following conditions. So we have eight conditions. The first one, 90 to 100, uh, we have grade A, 80 to 89 grade B, 70 to 79 grade C, 60 to 69 grade D, 50 to 59 grade E, 0 to 50 grade F, any number less than 0 invalid mark, any number less than uh, greater than 100 invalid mark. So again, we are going to decompose our problem. First thing first, we have to input a mark. And this one should be very easy. It should be input mark. And then we are going to output the grade of the mark. So the grade of the mark will be output based on the condition. Now, the first thing that we are going to do, we are going to look for any invalid marks. Why? Because we have two conditions which cater for invalid mark and we can combine these two condition using a logical operator. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to check if the mark is less than 0 or the mark is greater than 100, then output invalid mark. So any mark less than 0 or any mark greater than 100, I'll be getting invalid mark. Doing so, I'm combining these two conditions together to output the error that should be given. Following from that, we are going to check if the number is greater than or equal to 90. Then output grade A. Now you will notice that I have not combined this condition with and mark less than or equal to 100. Why I did that? Because I've already catered for any numbers which are greater than 100. So when I'm going to come to this else if part, it will be only for numbers which are between 90 and 100. Anything that beyond 100 has been catered for in the previous part. So this will continue for the different grades. 80 for B, 70 for C, 60 for D, and 50 for E. Anything else? We have already catered for marks less than zero, so we will not be having any mark less than zero. So any mark that will be output here, any mark that will be checked over here, will automatically be between zero and 50. So else output grade F. And given that we have not been asked to do anything more, we'll end our program and our if statement here itself. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe, leave a comment on how the channel can be improved, and click on the thumbs up. Until then, see you next time.